The Happiness Hypothesis is a book written by Jonathan Haidt, a social psychologist who explores the connection between happiness and human nature. The book draws on insights from psychology, philosophy, and neuroscience to offer practical advice for managing negative emotions and fostering positive ones. The book is structured around 10 great ideas about happiness and human nature, which include concepts such as the divided self. Haidt explores the idea that humans have a writer, our conscious mind, and an elephant, our unconscious mind, and that our emotions and behavior are often driven by the elephant. The importance of social connections. Haidt argues that social connections are crucial to our happiness and well being, and explores the science of positive relationships. The power of meditation. Haidt explores the benefits of meditation and mindfulness practices for managing negative emotions and reducing stress. Throughout the book, Haidt uses real world examples and personal anecdotes to illustrate his points, making the book both informative and engaging. He also provides practical exercises and strategies for readers to apply in their own lives. In The Happiness Hypothesis, Jonathan Haidt explores the benefits of meditation and mindfulness practices for managing negative emotions and reducing stress. He cites research showing that regular meditation practice can lead to changes in the brain that are associated with increased feelings of well-being and reduced levels of stress. Haidt suggests that meditation can be particularly helpful in managing negative emotions such as anxiety, anger, and depression. By cultivating greater awareness of our thoughts and emotions, we can learn to observe them without getting caught up in them, reducing their power over us. He also provides practical guidance for readers who are interested in trying meditation themselves. For example, he suggests starting with short, daily meditation sessions of just a few minutes and gradually increasing the length of the sessions over time. He also recommends finding a quiet, comfortable place to meditate and focusing on the breath as a way to anchor the mind. Overall, Haidt views meditation as a powerful tool for managing negative emotions and fostering greater well being. He encourages readers to explore meditation as a way to cultivate greater self-awareness and reduce stress in their lives. The happiness hypothesis can benefit a wide range of readers who are interested in exploring the connection between happiness and human nature. Here are some specific groups who might find the book particularly useful. Individuals who are interested in personal growth and self-improvement. The book provides practical advice for managing negative emotions, fostering positive relationships, and cultivating greater well-being. Mental health professionals, the book draws on insights from psychology, neuroscience, and philosophy, and provides evidence-based strategies for managing negative emotions and improving mental health. Anyone who is curious about the science of happiness, the book explores the latest research on happiness and well-being, and provides a nuanced understanding of the factors that contribute to our happiness. Individuals who are interested in mindfulness and meditation, the book provides practical guidance for cultivating a daily meditation practice and explores the benefits of mindfulness practices for managing negative emotions and reducing stress. Students of psychology, philosophy, or neuroscience, the book draws on insights from these fields to explore the connection between happiness and human nature, making it a useful resource for students who are interested in these subjects. Overall, The Happiness Hypothesis is a thought-provoking and engaging book that can benefit a wide range of readers who are interested in exploring the science of happiness and well-being. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for more. For purchasing the book, the link is in the comment section for your convenience.